Welcome, welcome. Today's video, we're going to be animating a pixel attack in 10 seconds, 10 minutes, 1 hour, and finally, 10 hours. Let's see how it goes. A little bit nervous about this one, but timer's on 10 seconds. Okay, starting now. Frame, sword, oh god. Let's check it out. Let's see how I did. Doesn't resemble much. Everything's from scratch, though. Let's go ahead and do 10 minutes. Starting 10 minutes. Let's uh, start with character. Eggs. We'll get a cape. Maybe not a cape. We don't have time. What am I talking about? Sword. Two. I think we have time for two. Let's get it back. Already losing time. Okay. Stick to the basics. That's the three keyframes. This guy, leg over here, leg over here. I think I have more time, less time than I have. Make a sword. Is it over here? Third frame. Blades forward. Okay, legs coming forward a bit. Already, I'm messing up my layers pretty bad. Sword's behind me now. Keeps this way. In between frames. Start adding. It's such a bummer where frames aren't really set up or your layers aren't set up. You know what layer that's on. Through it. I'm just going to merge it. Thumbs down. Maybe this sword starts coming in this way. Comes over here. Let's duplicate this frame. Maybe this way. Maybe there's a little bit of head movement. Not so great. Brings it back. Need, a, need the VFX going out. Big swipe. Let's see where we're at. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Five minutes to go. This head movement. So awkward. Coming down. Leg. Starts to move out. It's over. Just a bit. Some follow through on the sword swing. So moving body, moving body part. Then head move back. I don't know. Key frames. The legs are so bad. I stress so much about setting up your layers properly and having everything on a different layer. Also, character itself. Let's at least do some. Try to keep it consistent. And I will be on the other side. I think so. Three minutes. It's not going to get me. Maybe. Do, or something, a bag, do a bag, bouncy bag. Send it all, unlink, but I liked it. Now these ones above, so we'll go Z, or the Z index, two minutes, you know, down, boom, move his head. Let's just keep, fix his legs now. Got one minute, let's go. What are all these weird straight pixels doing? Clean it up, keep this leg, that's, that's way cooler. Oh, we could extend it. Fill in the gaps, fill in the gaps. Fill in that, and see. Yeah. All right. Oh, time's up. So let's see what what we're doing. It's not terrible. Head's like real wonky. Legs are legs are a bit better than they were. They were not so great. The bags just but ten minutes. That's a fun challenge. So I'm gonna sketch out. I'm just gonna go with sword. Someone with a couple of layers. Let's sketch out some shapes. Maybe a big axe wielding dude. Be cool. Somewhat smaller one on this side. That could be cool. Okay. Fly by the legs. Even though if he looks cool enough, maybe do a walk cycle eventually. Make the challenge completely from scratch. So this back arm be whole. here. We'll work on the back. So we'll go here. Right. I think I'm quite close. So we'll have 48 minutes. I'm happy with that. It looks way better than I thought it would. So now I'm going to start planning some key frames. Everything's set up. He's in here, so that should be for me. Four to three minutes left. Not sure what direction I want to go with the final flash or keyframe. Not crazy about it, but we're going to need to pick one of these. Wasted five minutes, but I switched the weapon to a spear. Dealing with that funky looking axe, I think what it was. Tricky right now, so only having 38 minutes. Uh, I decided to switch it to the spear, which is a lot easier. We can just do a big thrust or something. So I think I got the base of the main frames and I have 34 minutes to fill it in and try to smooth it out as best as possible. That's the time frame. Quick date. A lot of smoothing to do. The lance itself is stale and lacking. We don't have too much more time. And I'm working on some VFX to give it some oomph. Six minutes left. Switch his arm here. <laughs> Don't really like it at all, but I only got six minutes to, to deal with it, so maybe I just leave it and focus on something else. I don't know. Fun challenge. It looks pretty good. I think that's all I can do. 40, 48 seconds. Not gonna push it too much, but it ended up being 
better than I thought. I think for the first 20, 25 minutes, I wasn't crazy about my choices of the character, but in the end, it's okay. The lance itself looks stiff a lot of the time, but a little spin at the end kind of ties it all together nicely. Three seconds. Yeah, there it is. That is the one hour, one hour attack animation. My game plan for animating this 10 hour animation was to start off with designing the character. I gave myself about an hour, which in the end, I should have gave myself a bit more time. I really liked the character in the end, but I could have tweaked a few more things that would have made it even better. So yeah, the first hour was designing the character, and the second hour was really just starting to plan the animation, getting some key frames in there, which ended up taking longer, and that pushed into the third hour, where I started to get the key frames for the first couple punches, and then eventually led into an uppercut spin, uh, which was really cool. The next hours was kind of just figuring out and the the overall motion, I wanted to get the animation feeling right before I started jumping into details and VFX and everything. And that was kind of at the four or five hour mark. And at once I was pretty happy with the animation and the feel of it, everything flowed properly. I started adding VFX, which really starts to bring the animation together. You know, adding the, the fire, the kind of special effects, just the dust when the character lands on the ground or takes off, jump. And that was really the next kind of few hours just going through different combinations. So I started adding bubbles, fire, uh, wind element, kind of shaking the earth. It was a cool thing. And eventually that led into my last couple hours, which was just kind of adding low effects, you know, making the ground shake, really tweaking making sure every frame looks good, not just the keyframes, which some still aren't perfect, but I think I got it in pretty good shape. process was a bit different. I didn't feel as rushed, you know, in the last hours of, it was kind of just tweaking and, and making sure things were perfect as could be. And it was kind of refreshing in a way because usually I'm rushing to get my animations done on a timeline. So it was, it was a pretty cool experience. You made it this far. Thank you for watching. Hit that sub. Like it, comment, comment if you want me to do something else like this again. I'll see you next time.